Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be looking at a couple of simple changes and modifications to the Sawyer Squeeze system to make it fit my needs a little bit better. As you may have seen in my previous Sawyer filter comparison video, the items on the table are what came with my particular Sawyer Squeeze. These items will work just fine, but I want to share a couple of changes that I've made to my setup. First thing I'm getting rid of is this tubing. I don't use it, so I'm not going to carry it. Next, I want to get rid of the cap. I've never been a fan of these pull-up style caps because in order to manipulate it open or closed, you have to put your dirty fingers on it. There's no sense filtering your water if you're just going to contaminate the clean end of your filter. I might be overly cautious, but I'm okay with that. Also, this little plastic cover is likely to end up falling off and getting lost in the backcountry, and I'd rather not be a litter bug. The next thing I'm tossing is the syringe to back flush the unit. It's kind of bulky, and I've seen a couple of videos where people said that the plunger part on the back broke during backcountry trips. The last thing to get rid of is the bag itself. This isn't absolutely necessary, but the durability of these bags has been questioned, and there are affordable and reputable options to replace them with. So now that I'm left with a bare bone Sawyer squeeze, let's take a look at what my kit will actually look like. First, let's start with the bags. In place of the Sawyer bags, I'm going with the ones made by Evernew. They have an awesome reputation for durability and the threads fit the Sawyer Squeeze perfectly. I tried using an old platypus bag, but found out that the threads didn't match. I picked up this bag many years ago, so I don't know if they've changed their threading over the years and if the newer bags work or not. Next we need a way to back flush the filter in the field, since I ditched the plunger. The good news for me is, I usually carry smart water bottles and the front end of the spore cap on these bottles fits perfectly onto the Sawyer to back flush the unit without the need for carrying an extra piece of gear. The last addition is this coupler in place of a cap. This one is made by Sawyer and costs less than $5 on Amazon. I've seen others use a similar coupler called a tornado tube, although in some cases I think they need to be cut down the size to fit properly. The Sawyer one is good enough for me, and it's a great way to make sure that I don't knock over my bottle while filtering. Now that I've shown you my setup, I'll show you a slightly different setup using the same items. Some people want to use a cap that can close, so a good alternative to the one that comes with the filter is a Smart Water Bottle Sport Cap, since the threads fit the squeeze perfectly. The lid flips up, and remains attached so you won't lose it. Since filling these bags can be a challenge sometimes, depending on your water source, you can use the coupler in a different way than how I first showed. Attaching it to the dirty water bag, you can take the top half of a bottle and screw it directly into the coupler, use it as a funnel, using the bottom part of the bottle as a scoop to pour your water in. You can create a less bulky version of this method by sacrificing one of the discarded Sawyer bags. Although in my example, I cut the scoop bag too short. Trying to keep the ends open isn't as easy as using a regular bottle, so I prefer the bottle over the bag. Now that I've shown a couple of different setups for the Sawyer Squeeze, hopefully it will help you figure out a system that works best for you. I'll include links to the products that I showed in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.